Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on combining two ratios to determine what fraction or percentage of items are of a particular type. So let's read the question. A pencil case contains only red, green or blue pencils. The ratio of red to green pencils is 4 to 3. The ratio of green to blue pencils is 1 to 6. Calculate the percentage of pencils that are green. Now, in the previous video, we saw how we can combine two ratios into one ratio, and if we've got everything as one ratio, it makes it easier to reason about it, for example, questions like this. So let's do it how we did before. The ratio of red to green, so I'm going to just use R for red, G for green. Red to green is 4 to 3. And we've also got the ratio of green to blue, so let's add blue here. The ratio of green to blue is 1 to 6, so green to blue is 1 to 6. I'm going to put that on a new line. And do you remember from the previous video, in order to combine these into a single ratio, these two numbers have to be the same. Remember with ratios, we can scale the ratios with whatever numbers we like. So for example, 4 to 3 would be the same as 8 to 6. Now, 3 and 1 both go into what? Well, they both go into 3, so all we need to do is just multiply these two numbers by 3, so times by 3, times by 3, and that then becomes 3 to 18. And now, because we've got 4 to 3, 3 to 18, these numbers are the same, so it's 4 to 3 to 18. That is red to green to blue, all in one big ratio. Now we want to work out the percentage of pencils that are green. Now we also saw this in another uh, video, if we've got a single ratio, how we can tell what fraction or percentage uh, one of the parts is. Well if you imagine there were actually four red pencils, there were three green pencils and 18 blue pencils, what fraction would be green? Well, if there's four red, three green, 18 blue, then the total parts, or the total number of pencils in this case, would be 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus 18 is 25. So if there were 25 pencils and 3 of them were green, then 3 25ths of the pencils are green. So if it asks for it, the answer is a fraction, that would be the answer, but it wants it as a percentage. Now to convert this to a percentage, we just need to make sure it's over 100. So to get 25 to 100, we just need to times by 4. So the 3 we also have to times by 4. So that becomes 12 over 100 are green. And 12 over 100 is just 12%, and that is the final answer.